would you like? Just raise your hands for questions, please, guys, and we can do our regards and easy calls at the end. Right, we can start. Rossi, um, firstly, just your thoughts on the game. Some good and some bad, and lots to work on as well. Yeah, I think for both teams, some good and some bad. Uh, it's a big game where uh, you can see there's a lot team that's played together in, in the Six Nations, and, and we haven't been together for a very long time. But then I thought there was some brilliant moments, uh, but also some awful moments, you know, where, which is definitely a thing that we can work on. I can't talk to them because I, I know they're cast and they will come at fire and do this series next week. But, you know, the last three games, us and them, it's been three points. And to beat them with seven eventually, uh, no matter if it's a home away, it's, it's just a relief because uh, they've definitely been a team that we've struggled against in the last six years. Just um, on that, I mean, just to get, get that bogey off your back, that you beat them now and it's the last side. Under you, that you haven't beaten. So, how's that? Yeah, uh, I think we always do everything as a group, uh, you know, and as a group from 2018, uh, this is probably the team that we had 0% against. I think the, the uh, uh, closest team uh, we, which I win average was, was the All Black, 50% since 2018, and over above that, uh, even I lined to 67% or something like that. So, they really had our number, and tonight, uh, there were instances where they came back so strongly. Uh, and if they, I think we didn't have one to pick in the uh, you know, the game has been much tighter. And we you know next week, in, uh, yeah. so I wouldn't say it's a monkey off the back, but it's certainly a really good competitive team who's, who's, who's number two. And any day any, any they can step up and beat you and be number one. So, are you happy to sort of play the yeah, of course. It was important to us, of course, as coach said, this game was important to us. Since 2016, we know we haven't been able to get them, so we found good for it special, but we just not done yet. You know, we've won a win the series, and we know we're going to come back hard next week, and we've seen what we can do. Even in the game today, it looked like we were going to pull away, and they came back very well. A very um, uh, good team, so next week is going to be proper as well. That's easy. Um, is, it fair, is it fair to say it, uh, you, you had a couple of TMO decisions go your way tonight, but then also for long periods you guys dominated. I mean, is it a concern that the, the conversion of that dominance, and I'm not just talking about you know hundred missing kicks. There's also you know a few try scoring opportunities that were left out there. I would say if you play the number two team in the world, you know, and, and a team of that quality, uh, um, you know, certainly, firstly, creating some more opportunities out, I think, hope people can see that we, we try to develop our attacking game. Uh, I've got the foundation of two weeks uh, late there, you know, with Tony, we're trying to step it up a little bit in certain areas. With that comes uh, mistakes and experience and, and, and cohesion, uh, and definitely at stages that, that didn't happen. But then again, they're not, not number two for nothing, you know, their defensive system is really sound. And, you know, uh, yeah, when they scored those last two tries, we were down to 14 men. Um, uh, yeah, and I thought also, we, you know, we struggled to get um, nice, it, it felt like a very stop-start game. It felt like uh, there's always just a two-minute delay and there's a three-minute delay and either injury or somebody just getting treated or so, and that's nobody's fault. Uh, it was just in, in that regard. I think that also for both teams, it, it, it buggered up momentum a little bit. Okay. So yeah, for you personally, how did you feel about tonight? You came like you got a bit of spring in your step, like you tried to send a message or something? No, no, no. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I did, of course, enjoy the game. Um, but uh, like I'm enjoying the way Coach Tony is, um, is, is, is um, getting us to attack as a group. And getting the ball in the hands was, 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 I really enjoyed that today. But just being with the boys again, I think they kind of stand up and say, you know, the coaches say have a certain talent, but the players keep you accountable to that kind of standard. And um, yeah, it was um, great uh, from, from all the boys. But like Coach said, we can, we're going to get better each week. You know, we, we're still um, learning uh, what, what Coach Tony is doing, and it's only going to get better each week. Um, hi. Uh, well done. Congratulations, Mark. Uh, it seemed like uh, Sia and Peter Steph were more in the trams getting into the game on attack from wider positions. And 
also getting Jesse Creel, you know, some of the game cricket. Is that part of the stuff that you're working on? Oh, well, obviously, you know, that's happening in the game, but yeah, no. Uh, since I know CR, or since he's 18, you know, he's always, we don't play with an open side flanker and a blind side flanker. And he's always been a great runner of the ball. And um, I think we underutilized him there. Um, and uh, at the moment, CR knows specific roles, you know, he does it really well. Um, and then Peter Sef, I mean, he's been always really solid for us the last few, three years, five years. Um, but uh, again, you know, the ball has to go through a pack of forwards, getting the ball out of Ireland, really contesting a lot of the breakdowns, and then it has to go through 10 and 12 stands to get to them eventually. So uh, I think it will change from game to game, and Ireland will work out what they tried to do tonight, and we're going to try and work out what they did tonight. Because certainly, I think they scored also a lot of tries. Um, but yes, it's certainly something that we, that we hoped would, would come off. Rossi, do you think Ireland have caused uh, for complaint about some of those two and decisions? I wouldn't help, I wouldn't. You know. So, uh, um, uh, I certainly have learned from the past, uh, uh, let it be. Um, uh, so, um, yes, uh, that's the protocol, that's how it works. And um, I've certainly learned, accepted, and move on. Rossi, what would you expect from Ireland in the second test? Uh, just like tonight, you know, uh, uh, never give up. Uh, they will try to come out more dominant. They certainly, I don't know if the, if the game split will be the same, but uh, the guys who came on, I think when Ringling Rose came on, there were certainly a little bit more challenging uh, defensive situations. Uh, not that Bondi and, and, and Enshaw are not great players, I mean, they, they run over you. Uh, I think, you know, Crowley will be more settled uh, in the second test. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they had an injury hooker. We've got an injury, uh, the nine men down, so they, they were at disruptive things in the game. But it was certainly not that we, even until the last minute, uh, uh, I think the try of Cheslin is some, this was probably the put away where we were lucky, but then again, until the last second, we were still nervy about the game. So, no, uh, this is definitely not, this is not, they're not going to run away, they're going to be they're gonna be next weekend and, and we'll have to really, really perform. Yeah, I, I, I think the competition <coughs> with, with the guy who's fit now again and Kanan, who's also almost available the next game, and, and also um, uh, uh, Uker. <laughs> Uh, I always find it funny to call the center of Uker. But we are doing well at training sessions. Uh, uh, and I do think uh, uh, some of the guys who played this, this weekend, like Damien Berlinda and those guys, really got tired at the end. And with the 6 2 split, you know, we didn't have a lot of options to get some guys a rest. But it was nice to have a guy like Sasha on when Andre was blowing a little bit at the end. Uh, and even if, if Willy was tired, we could put uh, Sasha at the back. So, um, yes, I, I think overall, uh, planned work, one for the first time in a very long time, uh, but that's now uh, done, and now next weekend there's another test match. Uh, coach, um, <clears throat> the 49th minute replacements, was that frustration or pre planned, or did you not just see what did you not like what you were seeing from the, from the starting pack? Uh, no, we really love what we were seeing. We always struggled on the lineouts against uh, Ireland, and and uh, I thought that, that that starting pack was brilliant. I thought Sia was brilliant, uh, you know. But it doesn't help you pick a six-two, and because normally Ireland is a team that when the platform gets tired, you know, like you saw the last two tries, they, they really uh, exploit that really well. And I thought you know, the last um, last uh, push of scrum is a testament that you know it does work. Slow poison a little bit. And when they got those injuries with Luca and, and, and so on, I really thought, uh, um, you know, I don't think it's risky if you leave two guys on the bench, uh, but it certainly lifts the pack of forwards. Uh, you know, you could have maybe let CR play on a little, little bit more, but then you also want to want to grow the squad and, you know, without like Sasha experience, the number two team in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and what they bring in the intensity. And I thought it did well the last nine, eight minutes. Uh, someone would have jumping against guys like uh, the Irish half. So uh, I know it's tough to say we're trying to build squad depth uh, um, whilst trying to win. And yeah, it's very good. So overall, I think goal achieved, but not definitely far from perfect. Razi, do you think he 
kind of surprised Ireland early on was how willing, how, how early, sorry, you were willing to go wide with the ball? I don't think we... I don't know if you surprised him. Uh, you know, I, I think if they analysed our first game against Wales, um, you know, they definitely stopped our more really well. Uh, definitely the scrums was uh, very technical. It wasn't uh, a brute power versus power. It was free kick here, free kick there. And um, that was something we must handle and get better at and understand why it's that, because we, we really want to have good set-piece competition. Uh, but um, no, I don't think he surprised him because they certainly the team that attacked <coughs> probably the best in the world uh, with the All Blacks in general play. So I think weekend and week out there they practice that against each other. Uh, so yeah, I think they handled it well. <laughs> No, um, so, so we have a good old season since many long time. And I think I'm sorry, um, I'm a two for this now, no one needs for 30 the way. Um, because the new managers play there, you know, best no team, if I'll be missing a score in the Coco Park. But it's yours, in Baza Musa, when they come in charge. But the ball is very good in the ball screen, it's very long, and also see Fabio's own little e, e, energy to good make sure that since we certainly get to a ball in. And I think, um, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm trying to get my ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm going to have a ball in my mouth, and I'm Okay, uh, clearly, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
Londo is a Malay Capau, as a set on our way, while you personally get playing like in Goku. As this, if he's in the North Funa was Lungi, Saklum, and Westby. Um, yeah, a Malay, I think, they are real as long as he's a lapin's answer, and the Malay doesn't test me about a lapin. Yeah, the cool because we